watershed in this region, what work you're doing or why it's important to you. And we can kind of start with talking about these projects. And when I say projects, I don't mean a lot of big excavation. I mean, it could literally be putting in a bike path. It could literally be picking up trash along the East River. I mean, that's, that's the scope we're talking about. But it's just ways in which the projects, these big ideas that we're talking about are important to your community. And in fact, uh, we're also asking to kind of put actual. I mean, this is such an unusual district compared to all the others. It's going to be uh, a lot of extra stickers, obviously. But and I'll just give you guys each a copy of the worksheet. But I think uh, we'll use Riches as the official one. Okay. Now also. So my name is Rich Camp. Uh, I know most of you, um, just like Kendall. Um, I'm on the board of the Gwinnett County for that. So this is in a district that includes Coney Island and Brighton Beach. Sheep's at Bay uh, is in a district with East New York and uh, Bedford Stuyvesant uh, and Howard Beach. Uh, sort of like a uh, shape. The Congressman Nadler's district changed. So basically, just. We don't represent this area anymore either, but we do represent this area next door. Uh, we represent that, Borough that. Park here, and on the Upper West Side, basically everything stays the same in Manhattan and uh, Brooklyn. Slight changes, uh, but our northernmost boundary was 89th Street. Our northernmost boundary will be 122nd Street, and I can say that because he doesn't have actually opponent on there. Democratic side, he's unopposed on the Democratic, so he's not even on the ballot. And then uh, we do have an opponent on the Republican side. His name is David Chan, and now I've told you everything I know about him. So uh, I'm happy to go around. I just wanted to give you an idea. So if we're talking about Brighton Beach, I'm happy to talk about Brighton Beach and Coney Island. We've been very involved in waterfront issues there, specifically, and we still will, the project that's about to get started, uh, a construction of tea groins, rock jetties, Meg Fellerath, I'm one of the co-founders of Brooklyn Greenway Initiative, and we're working on 14 miles from Greenpoint through Sunset Park and largely with up roads in the uh, Sunset Park section. Yes? Uh, I'm Ray Howell. I'm a Brooklyn resident. I'm in the, uh, the travel business as a travel professional, but I was uh, one of the founders of the Gowanus Dredgers Canoe Club. It operates on uh, Second Street in the Gowanus Canal. Plus, we also operate boating operations in Red Hook, Staten Island, Long Island, too. And as Dan knows, also I'm an advocate for public mass transit, including uh, I served on the Brooklyn Red Hook trolley study that failed to conclude that we should build a trolley to the Hope River. Good location to try to do some moisture restoration work. And, um, you know, there's. There's um, there's good reasons why it, it might be a good spot. I mean, it's, it's it's probably the highest growth we've ever seen um, in the harbor. The actual growth of oysters is higher than in the control sites we have on Eastern Long Island, where they're currently doing aquaculture with oysters. So um, you know that's that's a huge leg up if you're trying to restore things that may grow really quickly and, and do really well. Um, the, the, I'd say the negatives there are probably the, the there's really no um, wild Barbie, although some people continue to look, um, the park service in, in particular. Uh, but so, you know, I think it's a good spot to the club. We have a very good relationship with Floyd Bay Field, the National Park Service. We've done training with them, we've done joint ventures with them, and we do a lot of community service work uh, in this area. We have Youth groups come in from Brooklyn North, from Canarsi. Uh, we work with the parks department here. We're doing a cleanup tomorrow. So we're very, very involved in the community. And, you know, that's, that's why I'm here. Uh, and I, my name is Kyle Kozar, and I do not live in the district either. I live near it, but not in it. And uh, you just missed. Just missed. Uh, I work. I'm working uh, at Regional Plan Association on the Jamaica Bay Greenway. So the greenway that runs the south side of the Shore Parkway and really all the way around Jamaica Bay. But I'm currently working on a project that 
is focusing on... No, no, he's where this to help facilitate. Fabulous. We all, yeah, you are the exception because we all know, we are all neighbors. And well, Staten Islanders. We're all Staten Islanders. We're, not only, we're, we're very specific Staten Islanders. We're in the same we, building. Good. Yes. Well, not all in the same building. No. So we have major issues. Is that, the right, is that Cromwell? You're in South Beach. Yeah. Right here is Cromwell. Cromwell. This is Cromwell That's right here. And what we're well, talking about. I worked for the New York City Parks for 20 years. Oh, yeah. I believe I know. There should be that was right outside here. my window. Everybody's bringing us down. In the water. story. Well, actually, I had an idea for the Cromwell Center, which was to convert that into a little mini mall area, if they could. Uh, you know, like uh, reattach it to land. Yeah, reattach it to land and and, and have some shops in there. Kind of like make it look like fenced off, yeah, so because it's partially collapsed. So what, what kind of shape would you say that's in? Rather poor, but but it's it's on its last legs. Another couple of years from now, and there will be no choice. It will collapse, or it will have to be taken down. My name is Tom Kuchikowski. I'm with the State Valley Storage Commission, and uh, I also work with the uh, the Lord of State Waters Alliance, which is also in New Jersey. I'm working on a number of different waterfront projects, um, two different hats that I wear. But what's most relevant to what we're doing here tonight is the development of the Bear Island Pine Trail along the entire 80 miles of the Pacific. And working with the National Park Service to uh, a technical assistance grant to the Recreational Trails and Conservation Assistance Program. Work with the National Park Service. So we can record this and pass it up. You know, one of the things we're trying to do is catalog as many of these projects so we can put them into a database and then identify which ones do have the potential for federal support at some level or within some grant program. So we're going to take all the information we get from all these tables today and then review that within this coalition and um, and then capture our government affairs staff that have familiarity with these very grant programs that might be available. So to, uh, to, while nothing is jumping out to me in terms of federal programs that may be uh,
should they have been in the Right, exactly. Yeah, or if they are they? All the most wonderful things that we had in yeah, can, can, can I ask you one, one thing that, that, that sounds like it's weird? There's, there's, uh, 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 there's a mis, I think, misperception, a sustainable way to be able to sustain the but to really to retain that, that activity as opposed to moving uh, more towards just housing, market based housing. City agencies is very important. <coughs> southern point of some migratory birds, that's as far south as we go, and, there's, and that's the most, uh, the northern point of some other migratory birds, so we said that that is one particular mountain in the south actually experiences that. So, I mean, it's like, 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 it's